the supervisor may address. Application exercise. What I'd like you to do is, in a, in a group discussion, in a forum, identify what are some sources of burnout in your organization and what are some examples of burnout, what are some other examples of burnout in the juvenile criminal justice system. What we need to think in terms of is that sometimes we, we, need, we as supervisors need to understand how we can get support uh, in dealing with burnout and get support in working with our individuals. And uh, Kedushin and Harkness talk about this uh, in, in their chapter. The point is that we can sometimes get support from our client. Uh, the fact that you're able that you get a phone call from a client who said, "Gee, thank you for what you did, and you really helped me out." It might be a year later, two years later, but uh, what is it that was very beneficial and helpful uh, in working through a particular thing? So clients can be a support mechanism, the gratification, uh, the pleasure that you get as as a worker. Uh, the pleasure that you get in helping your staff people uh, going from point A to B and working with their particular clients. Supervisors can get support from their peer groups uh, just as their staff have the same uh, support mechanisms in terms of working with brown bags, uh, 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 talking about other training uh, activities. Uh, there's, then there's the social support networks that you can have. Uh, in, in, in gaining support, you know, uh, involvement in other extracurricular activities, uh, collaboratives, if you're a supervisor and you go into the community and you participate in different types of partnerships and, and collaboratives in the community, uh, you, you can gain social support mechanisms and networks and that way, just in the, the work that you do and the friendships that you make with other individuals and participation in golf outings and uh, with other organizations and within your organizations, uh, agency picnics, that kind of thing. And then how you adapt to change, how your supervisor adapts to change, how you as a supervisor adapts to change can be a support mechanism in working through and dealing uh, with uh, burnout. Okay. Kedushin talks about these different supervisee games that supervisees play in, in, in support of supervision. They either manipulate demand levels, they redefine relationships, they might try to reduce power disparities, or they attempt to control the situation. What I'd like you to do, without me uh, regurgitating, what Kedushin is saying is give one quick example of each of these games uh, as a forum. The way that the supervisor can counter these games is simply say up front, I'm not going to play this game. Refuse to play openly or just don't participate in the game. Recognize that the game is going on and don't participate in it in terms of what the employee may be doing. Create barriers, create uh, whatever it takes to, to let that person know that you're not going to participate in that manipulation. These are my expectations. This is what I want. Done. You can openly confront or you can compare awareness of what is happening in terms of what uh, the, the person is attempting to do uh, in this process or, or, or in this game uh, and, and you need to be able to pick the time and place and, uh, and, and when's the best time to do it or use humor, humor. Alright, that is a good way of dealing with it. Another forum, how do we prevent burnout or stress? I'd like you to provide some examples of how you deal with stress. What can be some pre prevention techniques? Uh, are these available in your agency or are they available elsewhere? Okay. So I would like to have some live uh, discussion uh, regarding prevention of, uh, of uh, burnout.
and that's what this is about here. As you can see, I made this lecture on supportive supervision rather light because we were talking about a very stressful topic and I didn't want to burn us out. And I wanted to prepare us for a very significant uh, lecture that's going to be coming up on Chapter 8 of Caducian and Harkness. So this is your readings aside from the forum participation that I'm asking uh, students to do. Uh, I will be reading uh, your uh, journals and it will take me about a week or two to get you back some feedback. Um, thank you.